Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Hey Max, hey Dad, another day in paradise, right? Chloe, wakey wakey, eggs and bacon. Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl, was that really Rachel Amber? Smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? I'd like to think my humor has improved with age. Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated.
can't leave without my vitamins. Uh, I really should get going. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Ah, Mom! Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever... Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. What's the matter, Mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. 
Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie better. Chloe? Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Firewalk? Is that the band you mentioned last week? I'm still bummed you wouldn't let me go. Mm-hmm. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. 
He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never family pick used to hang here. I. Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. Like, I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year.
Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so... What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you the not part... hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe 90-10. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. <sighs> a little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right.
How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shemapel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean... Sorry, what has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. My job is to make sure you and your mother have a safe and peaceful home. Do I come to your place of employment and... Oh, that's right. You don't have one. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Country music. <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you. What a beautiful day. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. This... this isn't right. 